Hello and welcome back to another video. Now today is another one of those damn rant videos. I'm just, I'm just, obviously I'm at some place in my life where I have to get some stuff off my chest. Now, I've been using social media for a few years now, Facebook, one of the earliest ones, but recently there's been a few things that have been getting on my nerves. So we'll start off with the OG social media, Facebook. Now Facebook used to be like you add someone, you see what they're posting, you don't really care, you never talk to them and stuff like that. And now it has turned into a political and like dumb like ad website. So let's start off with the politics. I can't go on Facebook without seeing a video, a post, someone sharing something about politics. Now I'm someone who doesn't really care about politics at this age and kind of where I'm at in my life, it's starting to matter a little bit more. But as of right now, I really don't care that much about politics. I don't get involved in it if I can. Because no matter what, you can't change someone's opinion. If someone feels strongly about something, no matter how many facts you give them, it's not even your opinion. If you give them facts, it doesn't matter. They're gonna feel strongly about um, certain things, so you can't change that. So I try to just stay out of it because people have their own thing, you can do your own. So you have all these people in Facebook comments. Facebook comments might be one of the worst places you can ever be. You click on a comment about, let's say, Donald Trump, and people are going on for like three days straight about how good Donald Trump is, but then people have like facts and stuff about what he's done and what he hasn't done and it is just an absolute gong show. And then you get into pages that you used to like, like Snoop Dogg, Usher, and Justin Bieber, and all they do now is share ads with like a clickbait title. So this one says, Zodiac couples with the best chance for a long-term relationship. And then it just, uh, you can see the picture here. You know what it looks like, it's right there. And then you have to click on the, click on the picture. It has about, maybe let's say three lines on each page that has, um, I guess some dumb like information about what they're talking about. You have to go next page, next page. There's ads everywhere. There's literally ads like on top of you, on the side of you, and you can barely even like get through the page. And it's so dumb because I know for a fact it's not Snoop Dogg posting this. I'm sure Snoop Dogg has better things to do than post clickbait ad stuff on Facebook. But now Facebook has launched like ads on their videos. So you'll be watching like a politic video or like some random video on, on a Facebook and you'll just get hit with like a 30 second ad in the middle of it. And it's like, if I wanted to watch ads, I would go to YouTube or something like that. I don't need ads on Facebook. The next social media we're gonna talk about is Instagram. Instagram's a weird place because you'll be following people that you've never ever talked to before. Like we'll mutually follow each other, but we'll ne have never talked in our life and we probably will never talk but we like each other's pictures and stuff like that and we like, let's say we see each other out in public getting frozen yogurt or something, we make like eye contact and like, I don't know, you like know each other but you don't. The weirdest thing has gotta be for probably girls that have this more and then like those cute guys on Instagram where someone follows you but you don't follow them back but you kinda know who they are. So like, I follow you, you don't follow me back but you know who I am because like, you've seen like Dean Visvanov and followed you, so you creep my photos or whatever. So you know who I am, but you don't follow me back. And then I see you in public and we make awkward, awkward eye contact and like, I see all your pictures, but you don't see mine, but you still know who I am. So it's kind of like a weird connection there. Now, you guys have heard about the Instagram models and all that stuff, and I'm not gonna go into that because that could be like a, a series um, on this channel, so I don't really want to get into it. It's a little bit too deep um, Deep today, and I don't really have that much time and as I said it'd have to be like a season um, Thing and it'd have to be a whole series So I'm not going to talk about Instagram models, but there is a few things that make me mad about Instagram Now don't get mad at me because if you're getting mad that means that you know, it's true people that have fit fit in their name in Instagram drives me crazy. Like, it shouldn't get on my nerves, but for some reason, it 100% does. Like, if you're a fit person, I can probably see that you're a fit person from your photos you post on Instagram of you working out at the gym and of your abs and of your arms and of the videos that you post of you physically lifting weights. I don't need the fit in there as well. You get two out of the three. You can't have the trifecta. You don't get to have fit in your name post photos and post videos. You either get fit in your name and you just post videos, 
videos and no photos, or you have fit in your name, just videos and no photos. Or you don't have fit in your name and you can post photos and videos, but don't have fit in your name because I can physically see that you're fit if you are fit, okay? You don't need to have fit in your name. There's literally no reason. Also, I don't know why, but anyone who advertises fit tea or anything like that, I just hate. I, just, I don't know why, I just hate it. It just makes me mad whenever I see it. But I mean, if you wanna do a deal, I'm down. So fit tea, hit me up. Final thoughts on Instagram. Um, people can be fake as hell on Instagram and a lot of people don't understand that. Um, you just portray exactly what they want you to see. So they have a car, bought a new car, they go to a car lot and they just take pictures of it. They're portraying that they have wealth, but yet they have all these bills and stuff. They wear their clothes, but they're in debt. So yeah, social media is everything is fake as hell, but Instagram I feel is one of the, the most fake ones because you just, you just see pictures exactly what people want you to see. So, it's uh, you have to just know how to weed out what is real and what is not. So, it's a little bit difficult in that sense, but now on to Twitter. I don't have that much beef with Twitter, and recently it's been one of my favorite social media sites. It used to be Instagram, but now Twitter, because Twitter just seems, I guess, more real. People don't really care as much about what they post. So, Twitter has partly turned into where people post their relationship goals. Now, all social media is is justification, whether it's likes, subscribers, followers, comments, whatever that is, you need to justify your own relationship, your own picture, bathing suit, body, whatever. That's all social media is, and I understand that. Um, but recently, there's been threads on Twitter where a girl like will send her boyfriend a picture, and the boyfriend is like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. And then people I know are sending their boyfriend pictures of themselves, and then their boyfriends are like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. And it's like, you can do that, but you don't need to post it. You're just trying to justify how good your boyfriend is compared to someone else's. And really, that does, as I said before, with the politics, no matter how strongly someone feels about something, it doesn't matter. Their boyfriend could be perfect for them, and what your boyfriend doing isn't perfect for that person. So you can just stop sharing your relationship goals because it looks different for everyone and we don't need to see your damn relationship. And it's just like, look at what my significant other just did for me, makes your significant other look like crap, and then it, it can lead to like relationship problems and all that stuff, and I'm not gonna get into that because I don't really know, but there is that kind of stuff that can happen when people, when girls see, it's unrealistic, they see these celebrities um, get a car, or get these flowers every day from her boyfriend, and it's unrealistic in their lifestyle to get that from their boyfriend. Um, so it just kind of creates problems and issues. But like throughout this video, I've been extremely hypocritical because I'll still post photos, videos, and stuff, and you guys are gonna like it. I'll still post YouTube videos, and people are gonna subscribe, comment, dislike, like the video, and it's like. Obviously, it's nice to get views and all this stuff, but at the end of the day, it's I enjoy making videos, so I'm going to continue to make them, regardless of if people don't like them or if you don't watch them, I don't really care. If you do watch them, that's cool. Thanks for watching. Um, but make sure to follow me on Twitter, on Instagram. Subscribe right here, right down below. You can probably do that. It's probably somewhere either there or there. So do that so I can continue to justify my self-worth um, through the internet and through you guys. That'll be the end of the video. Peace out, I'll see you in the next one.